Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will create a Spring Boot REST API with request parameter. Well, sometime a client sends a request, the request URL contains a query parameters, right? So in this lecture, we will see how to use at request parameter notation to extract query parameters from the request URL. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's quickly create the REST API that handles query parameters in a request URL. So within a student controller, let me write the REST API over here. So let me first write the comment Spring Boot REST API with request param. Well, sometime client sends a request something like this. For example, let me first construct the URL. Consider in a request URL, we got the URL something like this localhost 8080 slash students and then question mark id equal to 1. So this is basically called a query parameter. Okay. Now let's go and let's write the REST API to handle this kind of request URLs. So let me create the method first public and let's give return type of the method as a student and let's give method name something like student request variable. All right. And let's pass ID as a method argument integer ID. Next, let's return a new student and then pass ID dynamically and let's give first name as Ramesh and let's give last name as Padatari. Perfect. Now we have created a method. Let's make this method as a REST API by using Spring annotations. So here let me use add get mapping annotation. Well, we use add get mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP get request to this method. Next, let's configure the URL. So let's give URL something like this students and then query. Well, we have already a students, you know, a URL we have configured for this REST API, right? So the REST API URL should be unique. That's why I am using query over here. And here also we need to pass slash query to this URL. Okay, great. Now, whenever client sends a request with a URL like this, then we need to get the query parameter from the URL by using at request param annotation. Okay, so basically we need to bind the value of this query parameter to this method argument. And in order to do that, we can use at request param annotation. Okay, perfect. Next, let's go and let's run our Spring Boot application and let's see how this REST API works. So let me start the Spring Boot application. And there we go, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Next, let's copy this URL. Well, this REST API handles HTTP GET request. So we can use a browser to call this REST API. So let me go to browser. And in a new tab, just paste this URL and hit enter. And there we go. You can able to see the REST API return the JSON. And you can able to see the ID is dynamically updated. If you pass two here, then we get ID two. Okay. It means that the REST API that we have created to handle a query parameters in a request URL is working as expected. Now let's see how we can handle multiple query parameters in a request URL. For example, let's say if client sends a request with a URL localhost 8080 slash student slash query and then ID equal to one as a query parameter. After that, let's say one more query parameter, for example, post name equal to Ramesh and let's give one more query parameter, let's say last name equal to Padatari. Okay, next. Here we also need to pass the you know method argument. For example, string first name and then string last name. All right. And in order to extract the value from these query parameters, we have to use at request param annotation. Perfect. Next, let's remove this hard code value and let's pass post name. And here also let's remove this hard code value and let's pass last name. Okay, now we have created a REST API that handles some multiple query parameters in a request URL. All right, next let's run our Spring Boot application and let's see how this REST API works. So 
let me start the spring boot application all right and let's go to browser here let me create the proper url id equal to 2 and then ampersand post name equal to ramesh ampersand last name equal to padatari hit enter and there we go you can able to see client got the response and in a response you can able to see post name, post name ramesh last name padatari id 2 so if i change the query parameter values over here for example last name let's say jadav and post name let's say ram and id let's cube 1 and hit enter and there we go in a response you can able to see the query parameter values are successfully updated all right it means that the rest api that we are we have created to handle multiple query parameters in a request url is working as expected all right so this is how basically you write a spring boot rest api to handle query parameters in a request url now you might be wondering what is the difference between at path variable annotation and at request param annotation well path variable annotation is used to bind the value of uri template variable into method argument and we use at request param annotation to extract the value of query parameters in a request url all right so this is the main difference i hope you understood how to create a spring boot rest api that handles a multiple query parameters in a request url all right great i will see you in the next lecture